good afternoon, Tash coming at you. A different view today. We're in Maui. Got the waves and the palm trees. Got a tough decision to make. Do I stay here for another couple days? Or do we head to the 36th annual British Car Day? hosted by the Toronto Triumph Club. What would you do? All right, Sunday, September the 15th. And was there any doubt? We are just getting ready for uh, British Car Day today. It's about 6.30 a.m. A little cold this morning. A lot colder than Maui, that's for sure. And it's a strange looking palm tree. Anyway, uh, we are on our way to British Cardo. We're waiting for uh, a few other cars. We're going to have uh, Alin uh, going with us this morning. We've got Les showing up, and we've got a gent by the name of Sean. Or Sean and Tracy, I believe, are going. Sean is driving the 50th anniversary Capri. It's a Mark I Capri. So I'll probably take a few shots of that along the way. We've got the car packed. Uh, we're just going to get her warmed up and moved out of the garage and wait for the arrivals of uh, those other gents and ladies at uh, 7 a.m. Anyway, we'll take a few videos along the road, and uh, take some videos once we get to the show. See you there. Uh, some of you might have noticed that uh, I've swapped the uh, 60 TR3A out for the 73 TR6. And uh, the reason for that is, it's supposed to be about a 90% chance of rain today. So the uh, TR6 is a much better car to have in the rain than the TR3. It's a pain in the ass with the side screens on the TR3 and put the top up so... Uh, we go a little more modern with the TR6, uh, it's a little bit better in the rain, so that's the, uh, the reason for the swap out. I was really hoping to get the, uh, the TR3A there this year, but uh, the TR6 is going to go in its place. Alright, 50th anniversary Capri, right there, Mark 1, Tracy and Sean, uh, Lynn's here with a Spitfire, we got Les getting gas, and we're going to hit the road. We've got about an hour drive to the park. Alright, we're on the road, we're on the uh, 400 highway southbound doing about 105 kilometers an hour, so about uh, 2400 RPM. We got the uh, Spitfire and the Capri following us. Unfortunately, we lost less already. He had a loose uh, collector on his uh, side pipe, so he had to go back and uh, reattach that and tighten that up. So anyway, we'll uh, see you when we get to the park. DeLoreans are part of British Car Day. Stainless. Alright, just pulling into uh, British Car Day. Made it successfully. Actually, not one drop of rain so far. It's actually been a beautiful morning. A little chilly, but uh, no rain. So that's a good thing. There we are, Toronto Triumph Club. Welcome to you to British Car Day. Thank you very much. We'll see you when we get closer to the field. All right, we made it through the gates. And just heading on to the show field. Looks like there's quite a few vehicles here already, which is good. on the right. Land Rover's on the left.
have an XJ Jag, XJ220 Jag roll in. Let's go have a look at that before it gets too crowded around it. Well, it's already got a crowd around it, and it's no wonder this thing is spectacular. First one I've ever seen. That's a beauty. Conservation efforts. And of course, we have our lions in two locations one down by the far pavilion and one on the east side of the park. We are selling hamburgers, hot dogs, and
Looking too promising at the moment. It's starting to spit rain and getting kind of dark. So we'll take a bit more video before she really comes down. So these are the chrome bumper uh, TR6s up to uh, 73, 69 to 73. There's the row of uh, TR250s, TR5s. Five there, no stripe. Tear fours. We have the Morgans up here this year. It's kind of a different spot for them. Everybody's scrambling back to their cars, put their tops up.
but after, after that, that, it's supposed to wrap right until 4 o'clock. So Wishful thinking, they're saying 20 minutes showing on the uh, weather radar of rain, so we'll see. North of us. They missed us by about uh, 15, 20 miles. They said it went north of us, so we're good. So that means all you show uh, car owners, make sure you don't forget to vote for all the uh, three, four. I will get my tongue around this right. Don't forget to vote for your favorite car for the Participation Choice Awards. The ballot cards and pencils are in your goodie bag, and the ballots must be at the registration area by 1 p.m. Well, tier sixes. Okay, so make sure you do your voting. And a big thank you to our amazing sponsors, Exotic Motors, Crescent Oil, Visit Oakville, Lent Insurance, Auto Glen, Haggerty, Mark, Nutford, Edward, and Jones. A big thank you to all of them. And if you're still hungry, make sure you go and see our friends at the Lions. They have delicious food down there at both locations. Okay, we survived a little rain shower. And uh, shammy the car back off. So we'll continue on with the uh, show. Uh, GT6s. Good fires.
Like oh, yes, I heard. Yeah, I think I see your. Oh, yeah, 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 Fifty, sixty years. Morris Mini Minor, it's also sixty years. We got the Herald, sixty years. Sunday so Alpine, 60 years. Austin Healy, 3,000, 60 years. And the Ford Capri, 50 years. Just coming up to 4.20 p.m. and we made it home safe and sound. Had a good day at uh, British Car Day today despite the weather. It uh, rained on and off pretty much all day, but it didn't rain for a long period, so we were able to uh, enjoy most of, the, uh, most of the day anyway. And stayed uh, fairly dry. Car didn't miss a beat on the way there or back, so I'm quite happy with my TR6 as always. And like I said, it was a good day in more ways than one. That's it for now, guys.